Hey, I'm Srini, host and founder of the Unmistakable Creative Podcast and the creator of Maximize Your Output with Mem. And in this video, I'm going to show you six different ways that you can use Mem's new chat assistant to do all sorts of things in Mem and really speed up your workflow. This tool is amazing. It saves you a ton of time, and I'm really excited to share it with you. And if you haven't checked it out, be sure to check out our free ultimate guide to building a second brain in Mem. I'll include a link in the description below. Now, let's get to the tutorial. What I'm gonna do in this video is show you six different use cases for Mem's new chat assistant. And the reason I'm actually showing you the outline in so much detail is because MemChat actually came up with this entire outline for me. And it even gave me specific instructions on how to demo each of the things that I want to show you how to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to retrieve a piece of information from a specific source. So I'm gonna ask it to retrieve a quote from a specific podcast transcript. And this is a quote that I remember David Epstein saying. So I wanted to use it in a uh, pop blog post that I was writing and I couldn't remember where the quote was or, or you know, what it was and Smart didn't fill it in. So I just went over here and said, okay, give me this quote. And the great thing is that it then just produces the quote right there from a podcast interview because I knew just the first part of it. And there you go. It even references other notes where it is actually being referenced. So it shows you right here what the source was that it consulted. In this case, it not, didn't just use my transcript, but it actually used my blog post uh, about 45 lessons from 45 years. Do a cut here. Another thing that is really great that you can do with MemChat is you can actually use it to synthesize information. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell MemChat that I'm working on a, a blog post about deep work. And so let's go ahead and just have it find the main notes or ma find the main benefits of deep work from my existing notes. So we're going to go ahead and have it do that. And one of the nice things is in addition to getting this information retrieved, it also links up the different notes. It's actually giving us all the different notes right here or all the insights into one note. But once you retrieve this information, not only can you copy it, you can create a new mem from it or automatically mem it. And then what it will do is it will actually allow you to save it to your inbox. And so now we've saved this as a new mem. So let's go back to the outline here and continue and say, okay, what are some challenges and solutions for deep work? Let's go ahead and go ahead and put this here as well. And let's see what memchat comes back with. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have it synthesize all of this information together. So you'll see here that it actually is pulling information. And the other great thing is it actually allows you to see what sources it consulted to actually come up with this. So you can see here that these are solutions for a note titled workflow optimization from deep work. Again, we can mem it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the outline. And what I'm going to say is create a synthesized summary of the information gathered. And so what we'll do is we'll get one big note where it puts all of this information together. And then we would have effectively all the content we need to create a note about deep work and about deep work. And so we can say, okay, put all this together from the previous three responses. And so now what it'll do is it'll create another note that allows us to synthesize all of this. So this is really powerful for synthesizing groups of notes and combining them into one sort of big note that we can use. And then again, as I mentioned before, we can save it and you can see here every now and then it stops. So we can just go ahead and retry. Sometimes it will stop based on the length of the output, but overall it works really well to do all sorts of things. You can outline blog posts with this and we'll even get into a couple of examples uh, of how to do that here once we get this output. And then the other thing that's really great about MemChat is it's actually referencing all your existing notes. So even uh, if you have notes, when you write them in your own words, it's not going to sound like something that was put together by AI. So we'll go ahead and save that as a new mem. Now let's go back to our outline. One thing that I found that was incredibly helpful was to ask MemChat to help me come up with prompts for different things that I want to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask MemChat to give us a prompt for something. So I'm going to ask MemChat to come up with a prompt for me to turn podcast transcripts into blog posts where it references the blog post with headers and it also uses quotes from the guest, but no quotes from me. So 
again, one of the things that's really important when you're using AI is to be very clear with how you communicate and have very specific outcomes that you're looking for. So in this case, I'm going to tell it what I want, which is give me a prompt to generate a blog post from my podcast transcripts that will break the transcript into headers and sections, including quotes from the guest, but no dialogue from Srini. And each post needs to be a thousand words. And so one thing that I think is really useful when you are struggling with a prompt or you're not getting what you want is to ask the AI itself, uh, you know, what needs to be done. So the thing is that, for example, this is quite long for a prompt. So what I'm going to do is to just say, hey, turn this into a prompt that I can use with Memchat. And then what it will do is it will actually give me a prompt. And you can see here. And so now we can copy it. So one thing I recommend is that you create a prompt library where you keep all of your prompts that work, but rather than getting frustrated when you don't get the result, you want the best thing you can do is to just ask the AI, how should I word this prompt? Or how can I word my prompt so that it'll give me the outcome that I'm looking for? So you can see here that it came up with a pretty cool prompt that we could use, and we could then turn any blog post into a podcast transcript using that. Now let's go back to the outline and look at a couple of other examples. And this is actually one of my favorite things to do that I started doing recently was creating notes about a specific topic. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to go here and say, create a note about the role of risk in making decisions, using notes about decision making and risk. And what it will do is it'll give us a note with a title here that we can actually use as a memo, whether we want to or not. And you can see, so this is all stuff that's coming from within my notes. And keep in mind, part of the reason this works so well here for me is because I have something like 15, 20,000 notes inside of here from all the books I've read, podcast transcripts, and you know, smart notes, all that. That's why taking smart notes becomes really valuable. And your mem database becomes even more beneficial when you actually take smart notes and rewrite insights in your own words. So now we've got this mem, which then becomes a note that we might be able to use for a future reference. But if we wanted to, we could have had it output with headers and titles. So I'm just going to go ahead and mem it. And then it gets saved to my inbox right here, as you'll see when I click on the inbox. And there it is, the role of risk in decision making. Let's go back to the outline now. And now let's do something like generate ideas for new content. So for example, let's say that I wanted to come up with some new ideas for videos that I want to publish on the YouTube channel. I can say generate five ideas for new video tutorials for the Maximize Your Output YouTube channel with a paragraph description each idea, make the title a header, and add the paragraph underneath. And again, notice that I'm being very specific with how I communicate with MemChat. So as a result, I will end up getting a much clearer output. And you can see here, it's doing exactly what I asked it to do. Now, I don't know why it's actually coming up with this as a building resilience in the face of adversity as a tutorial but the rest of them are pretty relevant. So that's the thing that you have to always keep in mind is that AI is always going to have some things that uh, are relevant. Sometimes they're not going to be, but you can see here that it's actually doing a pretty good job asking it, you know, asking, providing us exactly what we asked it to provide us. So now we've come up with five basic ideas for content. We can do this to create outlines too, and it's actually really useful for that. So this entire outline, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, was done using MemChat. So I'm not going to actually go and generate outlines. So one of the things that I thought was really cool also is that you can actually use MemChat to create project plans. So I actually had it create a project plan to generate 25 leads per day for the Maximize Your Output course. But for this example, what we're going to do is I'm going to say generate a plan to 
double the size of the unmistakable creative podcast listener base within the next six months. So we'll make it pretty simple. And so now what it's going to do is it's going to generate a marketing plan for us. And we can even have it turn that plan into uh, a project template if we wanted to. So you can see here, it's actually giving us a detailed plan to get this going uh, and basically breaking it down by month, which is pretty incredible if you think about it. The fact that we can go and we can create a plan for some ambitious project that we want to launch and doubling the size of listener base within six months, it's actually coming up with pretty reasonable suggestions. And we could take this, for example, we could say, okay, great, turn this into a project plan. But you can see here that it actually gave me exactly what I was looking for in terms of a project plan. So that's one other thing you can do with MemChat. You're cut here. All right. So for this final example, let's do something a little bit more fun. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have MemChat come up with a travel itinerary. So what I'm going to have it do is, is plan a surf trip for me and say, I'm taking a surf trip up the Southern California coast. Or let's say plan a surf trip up the Southern California coast that is two weeks. List all the waves I could surf, difficulty level, and ideal tides for each wave. And what's amazing is that it will actually find various surf spots. So you can see here, it's giving me trestles, which is a well-known surf spot. It's giving me all the ideal tides. It's giving me the difficulty level. And so you can see here that in a matter of seconds, I've got a 14 day surf trip planned just by using MemChat. So that's a basic overview of the handful of ways that you could use MemChat. Of course, there are numerous different ways that you could use MemChat. The use cases are endless here, but for the sake of this video, I wanted to try to limit it to six. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.